This short video is an introduction to environmental noise. In practical terms, environmental noise is a noise from a construction site, factory or transport activity that may affect the public or the habitat. What it is not is noise that affects workers within the confines of a site or factory. That sort of noise is termed occupational noise. Why should you be concerned about environmental noise? Some sites or activities may have noise limits imposed and require regular noise monitoring. Or you may have an environmental management system, for example to ISO 14001. This would require you to manage your significant environmental impacts and this may include noise. Or you may have received complaints. It is therefore necessary to determine whether these are legitimate complaints or frivolous, or your site may have been confused with someone else's. Environmental noise monitoring can determine whether you are in compliance and whether complaints are justified. Where there are problems, noise prediction modelling can then be used to identify cost-effective measures to reduce noise levels. This video helps explain these issues. What are the limits regarding environmental noise? How is it measured? And what can you do if it is excessive? In Ireland, EPA licensed sites usually have limits for environmental noise at noise sensitive locations. Non-EPA sites may have similar noise limits imposed, for example by the planning or local authority. Noise sensitive locations are typically the nearest house, school, church, recreational area, etc. So, you have downloaded an app to your smartphone and have measured 70 dB. This is surely a breach of the noise limits. It is not as simple as that. In non-technical terms, the noise limits are based on average noise levels over a defined monitoring period. For example, 30 minutes monitoring for daytime. For noise monitoring, an integrating type 1 meter is required. Your smartphone app is therefore useless as it only gives an instantaneous reading and is certainly not a type 1 meter. So, now you have an integrating type 1 noise meter and have measured the noise level at 63.3 decibels. This now, surely, is a breach of the noise limits. Again, it is not that simple. For instance, there may be a busy road nearby. Therefore, you need to make adjustments for the road noise. So, after adjustments, the noise level is 49.3 decibel. This is now below the limit and everyone is happy. We are not quite there yet. If there is impulsive noise from the site, e.g. pile driving, a 5 decibel penalty has to be added. Again, if there is tonal noise, e.g. from fans, a 5 decibel penalty is added. However, only one penalty can be added at any time. And there is usually a ban on any tonal or impulsive noise at night. The EPA document NG4 governs noise measurements for EPA licensed sites. Many local authorities would also reference this document. Assessing whether noise is likely to generate complaints, BS4142 is the de facto standard. Many Irish local authorities would reference this document. And what can you do if noise levels from your site exceed the stipulated noise limits? The first step is to construct a noise prediction model. This allows predictions as to what the noise levels will be at any location. A number of what-if scenarios can then be investigated. For example, if the speed of this fan is reduced by 10%, what difference will it make to noise levels? Environmental Efficiency has many years of experience in noise assessment and control, and our noise technicians have all passed the relevant Institute of Acoustics exams. Where noise levels exceed permitted levels, we would strongly recommend a noise prediction model. This video has attempted to simplify a complex subject. If you want to know more about noise measurement, monitoring and noise prediction modelling, please contact us.